Hello, you listen to Count Richard von Kudenhove Clergy. Today is Sunday, March the 15th, uh, two days before Patrick's Day, and a Patrick's Day like we probably have never seen before in our lives. With some sweeping new changes probably to be announced from pub closures to until further notice, to some sort of restrictions on movement and assembly. Now today I met up with some friends of mine and we had to bring seven different pubs before we found one that was actually open. Some of them closed today at three o'clock and others closed at six in the evening, but denied entry uh, to anybody who wasn't already in there. Now, sometimes I ask, is all this being done to mask an international financial collapse? Is it being designed to cause negative interest rates so that your savings account can be looted by a bail-in? Like what happened in Crete, where they took 60% of all savings or initially where 15% of safety deposit boxes had been had to be surrendered, and those who falsified information ran the risk of having total confiscation of all their assets. And some interesting stories to emerge from the last couple of days. A person was caught stealing a bottle of whiskey uh, in, a, in a supermarket and started coughing over security guards saying that they had the virus and to keep back. And Gardaí are entering pubs and closing them down if they had more than 100 people, some only keeping one door open to restrict the numbers coming in. In supermarkets, one shopper had eight boxes of cornflakes. Surely they would have come out a date before they would finish all of them. Another was two hours in the queue and the person in front of them started drinking their beer while waiting. In my local butchers before closing on Saturday, he said that they had done three weeks business in three days and that they had done uh, they had sold over 350 kilos of mince and had worked from sunrise to up to 10, 11 at night each of the days to try and keep up with the demand and supply of food. With some customers coming in wearing rubber gloves and entering my local little on Thursday evening at 9.30, all fruit and veg, all cereal, frozen food, milk, bread and pastries, tin food, and fresh meats were all gone. The guy on the till said it was twice as busy as the busiest day before Christmas. I also noticed some abandoned trolleys, mostly with drink, by those who got pissed off waiting. You can only imagine the obscene levels of consumption that day. Is this what we have become? Units of consumption for more multinational corporations? And is it so? The question is now, how do we get the role of citizen to be a patriot rather than consumer? And is this why so many NGOs are funded by corporations who believe in open borders and see mass migration only in terms of increasing consumption and social engineering and to hell with the consequences? Now, I was sent a poem by a friend of mine. Uh, it's a poem by St. Patrick. And I think it's quite appropriate that I'd like to read it out and dedicate this video to her. I, Patrick, a sinner, the most unlearned man, tirelessly, I gave thanks to God, and in whom his divine power has shown himself to me, the least among his faithful, and I am unworthy man, despised by many, he bestowed upon my heart the gift of limited, limitless fate, so that in those final days I could carry out his divine work, and for even though I have not led a life of perfection, I am not ashamed in his sight, and I give us I give unseen thanks to him, for he has been lenient with me, a careless fool, and lifted me up beyond all measure, even though I was unworthy, and the least of all the servants. So there you go, I think that's quite appropriate, considering, as I say, we're two days short of St. Patrick's Day, a Patrick's Day we have never seen before. So hope, I wish you well, and uh, God bless you all, good night, and good luck.